Divination was a well-known profession in the ancient Near East, especially in the great cultures of Mesopotamia and Egypt. It was customarily based on the deciphering of a variety of items. Diviners read stars, meteorological phenomena, land formations, oil poured on water, incense smoke, flowing water, and bird flight. But the most common method was reading the internal organs of animals, primarily a lamb's liver. Divination was regarded as a science. Its practitioners were skillful professionals who made use of detailed manuals explaining how to reveal the future by interpreting the relevant object. Here is an example from a Mesopotamian guide to reading animal livers. If there are two paths and they are drawn parallel, a stable foundation living in peace. If there are two paths and the second one is bent and points to the normal one, weapons that were not brought inside will attack the prince. If there are two paths and the second one is bent and points to the normal one and a hole is placed between them, the foe will be defeated in battle. If there are two paths and the second one is placed in the middle of the normal one, someone in your auxiliary troops will change his mind. The guide instructs the liver reader to closely inspect all the parts of the organ. The technical term path refers to a specific part of the liver. The diviner usually attempted to predict military success or defeat. An echo of this role is found in the Bible. For the king of Babylon stood at the fork of the road, at the head of the two ways, to perform divination. He has shaken arrows. He consulted with images. He inspected the liver. This verse, written by a prophet who lived in Babylon and was familiar with local practices, describes the various forms of divination the king employed via his diviner in order to decide which way his army should march. These divination practices included liver reading. The importance of this practice in Mesopotamia is attested by three-dimensional liver models inscribed with signs and instructions for the diviner. Such models were found at several Mesopotamian sites. Biblical law also recognizes divination and forbids Israelites to practice it. You shall not practice divination or soothsaying. This brief survey is presented here only to demonstrate that divination differs from prophecy. The prophets of the ancient Near East did not consult manuals. They delivered the God's words directly and spontaneously generally as part of an ecstatic experience. They also usually possessed a different status to diviners. Prophets were not practitioners of a skilled profession. They had no intellectual qualifications and they belonged to different classes of society. Diviners were often intimate with the kings and frequently served in the royal court. Prophets, on the other hand, gave their prophecies in diverse places, often far removed from the palace. Their prophecies were then reported to the king by his officials, as we shall see below. Several types of ancient Near Eastern texts relate to prophets. Administrative texts sometimes apply the title prophet to someone listed in the document, but because their focus is on administrative issues, they do not supply us with further details. However, these texts are still important for understanding prophecy because they shed light on the place of prophets in society and the different titles they bear. But the most important texts are of course those which include the prophecies themselves. Such texts were found in several sites across the ancient Near East. Let's begin with Mesopotamia. Two main Mesopotamian sites supply us with texts related to prophecy, the cities of Mari and Nineveh. Each of these cities was active in a different era of Mesopotamian history. 
The prophecies from Mari date to the 18th century BCE. The prophecies from Nineveh are much later. They largely come from the 7th century BCE. In the next lectures, we will present some prophetic texts from Mari and Nineveh and discuss their nature, their background, and their contribution to the understanding of biblical prophecy.